Hey YouTube, hey I hope everybody's doing well out there. Well today we are talking specifically about the Sculptfun S9 because that's the, the laser engraver I have, but generally we're talking about laser engravers with an extension kit. Uh, let's see, I had a project out here in the shop that was re going to require me to cut a large part and in order to do that I had to, had to add the extension kit and then because I added the extension kit I had to figure out some way to enclose the laser so I could vent it outside. So when I was planning and, and realizing that it was going to be kind of pricey and time consuming I got looking online and I found a, a ready-made cover that was pretty inexpensive and it was going to be quick. I get it the next day and assemble it in a few minutes and uh, I was able to start cutting the next afternoon. So today we're going to be talking about that enclosure I found. It's basically just a, a quick overview, review, whatever you want. It'll be for any laser engraver, just specifically I'm using the S9. And uh, we'll, we'll talk about the dimensions so you know if it'll fit your laser or not. I'll put a, a, a link in the description down below. I hope that you guys will like and subscribe. Let's head on in and we'll roll the tape. As I mentioned in the intro, we added the extension kit to the Sculptfun S9. And so, be, being the lasers in the house, I needed to find a way to enclose it. So, I found an enclosure on Amazon. It's uh, inexpensive, ready to go, and just a, a real simple kit. It arrived in the morning, and it was packed in a very small box, and included basically everything we needed. There was a sheet of instructions, were basically Ikea style, with a couple of pictures, and uh, it was actually more than you needed. There was a couple of bags of fiberglass rods. They were all the same length, which again makes it ultra easy. There were several bags of the joiner hardware. The straight connectors and the T's were nylon, and the outside corners are made of plastic. There was also a bag of screws and nuts, and uh, it also an Allen key. And those were intended for mounting the 4 inch vents on either end. They also had a pair of latex gloves, which I really don't get. And the 4 inch vents, they had rubber plugs in them, which was actually kind of nice for, at least for one. Now I would have liked a frame to go on the inside of the 4 inch vents to support the fabric. As it is, basically it's just the bolts are going through and the nuts are holding the weight of the vent. And hopefully they don't tear through the fabric. It does not include any kind of a blower fan, and I had a 3-inch fan from my previous cover, and it was fine. Now, some guys seem to want to seal up their their covers, but they have to breathe. You have to have an, a place for air to come in to be able to exhaust. So I just plugged up the 4-inch hole at the opposite end, and I allowed all the open space around the bottom of the cover, between the cover and the table, and all my air comes in there and then gets drawn towards the vent at the end and then on out into the garage. And that little 3 inch vent that I'm using, or the 3 inch fan, is plenty. I don't smell any smoke while I'm cutting. I usually don't smell it until after I'm done and I open up the, the cover and obviously there's got to be some residue inside the cover that lingers. But during the burn, there's virtually no smoke in the room at all. The frame assembles really easily. It's pretty hard to go wrong. The only thing I would suggest is that when you push the, the fiberglass rods into the coupling that you hold the rod very close to the coupling because they will flex and being fiberglass there's a, a chance they could crack and break. So just make sure you, you hold everything close in at the coupling when you, you push them together. The inside of the cover is a woven fabric. It feels fire retardant, <laughs> whatever that feels like. And uh, the outside is a, a nice rubbery feeling. It stretches over the frame without any trouble at all. It wasn't a problem. And if you can see inside, there's little Velcro strips in several places around the frame to hold the, the cover onto the frame. So the frame was roughly 27 by 53. And for my Sculptfun S9, there was lots of room. I've even got the, uh, the compressor inside for the air pump. And uh, the transformer for the power is inside. I didn't have any trouble with that at all. There's lots of room in there. The door, it has a zipper basically on either end that'll come around and meet in the middle. Or you could just run one zipper all the way around. And the zipper ran fine. It was nice and smooth. I didn't have any binding at all. So overall, I have to say that I'm quite pleased with this product, especially at the price. 
it does exactly what it's supposed to do and I'm pretty happy with the quality. I don't have any issues whatsoever. Well, I guess that's it. I hope this content is helpful for you. I'll put links in the description down below and I hope you guys will like and subscribe and keep checking on the channel to see if there's more things that are of interest to you. Thank you very much guys. Hope you have a great day.